Hi, my name is Patrick Charlin. I'm a professor at University of Quebec at Montreal. I work in the education department. I'm here in Hawaii for the, international, for the Hawaiian International Conference on, on System Sciences. Um, what I will do this morning, I will um, make a short presentation about a workshop we did in, uh, about the ERP SIM simulation that was developed by HEC Montreal. So, well, uh, as an educational researcher, uh, my perspective, my, I, I'm, interesting, I'm interested in, in, in the educational perspective uh, on which ERP SIM relies. The first tendency we have to, to uh, realize is that the whole educational systems, uh, system and systems throughout the world are now in change. Uh, since 1990s, um, we, we feel that there is a significant par paradigm shift uh, in education. And this shift appears in primary schools, secondary schools, in uh, country-wise um, reforms, as well as in higher education, <clears throat> where, we, where teachers are now focusing on learning instead of fo focusing on teaching. So in all our more traditional approaches, uh, there was a teacher teaching in front of students and, 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 or trainees and these two students were kind of passive in their class, listening at a teacher and taking notes and doing exercises or case studies. In this new paradigm shift, we, we realized with, with recent research results that these approaches were not very efficient, that students were not very allo allowed to learn a lot of, of things for the long term and that new approaches had to be developed. <clears throat> and in this shift, we want to focus more on the learner itself. We, we want to, <clears throat> to, uh, to put this learner in action and, and so the teacher will have uh, a more passive role and, a lot, and, and, the, and the learner will be a lot more active in, in his role uh, of, of learning. So according to these, uh, to these paradigm shifts, new approaches and theories were developed. So one of these, <clears throat> these approaches is to center the curriculum of learners um, on competencies that have to be developed instead of orienting these uh, the, the, these curriculums on, on learning objectives or standards. The competency-based approach <clears throat> is more oriented of what a student or a learner can do with what he knows, instead of standard-based or objective-based approach where totally oriented of, of, of the knowing part. And there was uh, no focus on the doing. And it's really important when you try to train an employee or when you, tr or when you teach to a student to, to make sure that he doesn't only know what you've been teaching to him, but he, he can do something with, with, with what he knew. And with this competency-based approach, uh, there is new theories that have been developed. One of this theory is situation theory. And in this situation theory, we want to put the learner in a situation where he can develop competencies. And this is interesting because in traditional approaches, we re re research results <clears throat> were not demonstrating that learners could learn for the long term. They were not able to transfer from class-based situation to real-life situations. And this situation theory wants to put the learner in a situation that will be meaningful to him for, from class-based situation to real-life situations. And this situation theory wants to put the learner in a situation that will be meaningful to him and in where he will be able to transfer the knowledge he got in classroom or the knowledge he got in training into his future probably a uh, job or a uh, position. With this uh, situation theory and approaches, there we also have <clears throat> problem-based learning. And ERP SIM is as well as, a sit as well situated in, in the situ situation theory and in problem-based learning approach. 
Problem-based learning want to put the learner in the problem. According to, to researchers in education, to have learning, you must have a problem. If you don't get a problem, the learners will, will, will actually not learn anything because they already know that. So <clears throat> in problem-based learning, we want to put the learner, the trainee, in a problem, in a more complex problem, so he has to struggle a little bit. He gets to, to be put in action. He gets to, um, to develop his knowledge, to develop his competencies, uh, so, he, so he can um, uh, learn a lot more efficiently. Problem-based learning is not like old problems or old exercise or more traditional exercises where, where learners had to listen to the teacher and, and then to, to apply the knowledge in a kind of simple problem of application. Problem-based learning is about complex problems with an open-ended problems. So there's a lot more than one way to do a problem. So the learner can be uh, faced with a problem, he has to develop his autonomy and he has to uh, use lots of resources, I mean, context, uh, concepts, theories, students, other students, peers, teachers to develop his competencies and in that way <clears throat> the learning will be a lot more efficient and, and we think that you will learn uh, uh, for the long term and that's, that's what's important in, in all these new approaches. So to resume myself, ERP SIM in an, in an educational point of view is uh, at the confluent of most of the new educational tendencies. So ERP SIM represents this paradigm shift from passive learners to active learners. So, so the, 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 this shift is centered on the learner, the RP, the RP SIMP is also centered on learner and according to that we want to develop IT competencies. To develop these competencies we rely on two th new theories. One is the problem-based learning theories where we want to put the learner in a complex problem and open-ended and the other uh, theory would be the situation theory where we want to put the learner in a meaningful situation that is really close to real life situations. So thanks again for listening to me. I'm here in Hawaii and aloha.